Hello Californian drivers, welcome back to another video. Ace your DMV written test with this real test paper. Question, 1, 3 of the most important times to check traffic behind you are before. A. Backing, changing lanes, or slowing down quickly. B. Changing lane crossing intersections, or slowing down quickly. C. Backing, baking a sharp turn, or crossing an intersection. The correct answer is, A, backing, changing lanes, or slowing down quickly. It is important to check behind you before changing lanes, reducing your speed, backing up, or driving down a long or steep hill. Question, 2, you should signal continuously while turning, because it A, is illegal to turn off your signal, before completing a turn. B, lets other drivers know what your intentions are. C. Is always unsafe to turn off a signal before completing a turn. The correct answer is B. Let's other drivers know what your intentions are. You should always signal when turning, changing lanes, slowing down, or stopping so that other drivers, motorcyclists, bicyclists, and pedestrians will know your intentions. Question 3. When parking on a hill on a two way street with no curb, you should. I turn your front wheels to the left, away from the side of the road. B. Park at a slight angle rear wheels closer to the road's edge. C. Turn your front wheels to the right, toward the side of the road. The correct answer is, C. Turn your front wheels to the right, toward the side of the road. Parking on a hill on a two-way street with no curb, you should turn the wheels toward the shoulder of the road. Question, 4, this sign means. A. Drive to the right. B. Change lanes to the right. C. Slower traffic should move to the right. The correct answer is A. Drive to the right. Question 5. You must yield the right of way to an emergency vehicle by A. Driving as near to the right edge of the road as possible and stopping. B. Moving into the right lane and driving slowly until it has passed. C. Stopping immediately, even if you are in an intersection. The correct answer is, A, driving as near to the right edge of the road as possible and stopping. You must yield the right of way to any emergency vehicle that is using its siren and flashing lights. Do this by driving to the right edge of the road and stopping, taking care not to stop in an intersection. You may move again after the emergency vehicle has passed. Question 6. A car suddenly cuts in front of you, creating a hazard. Which of these actions should you take first? A. Honk and step on the brake firmly. B. Take your foot off the gas. C. Swerve into the lane next to you. The correct answer is, B. Take your foot off the gas. If a vehicle merges in front of you too closely, take your foot off of the accelerator. This will create space between you and the vehicle ahead without requiring you to slam on your brakes or swerve into another lane. Question, 7, you exit a freeway on a ramp that curves downhill. You should. A, slow to a safe speed before the curve. B, slow to the posted speed limit for the freeway. C, wait until you have entered the curve to begin braking. The correct answer is, A, slow to a safe speed before the curve. You should always slow down before entering a curve. You may not be able to see hazards ahead and braking in a curve may cause your vehicle to skid. Question 8. You are driving, and there are oncoming cars on your left and a row of parked cars on your right. You should steer. A. Closer to the oncoming cars than the parked cars. B. Closer to the parked cars than the oncoming cars. C. A middle course between the oncoming and parked cars. The correct answer is, C, a middle course between the oncoming and parked cars. If there are oncoming vehicles to your left and a row of parked vehicles to your right, the best thing to do is to split the difference. Steer a middle course between the oncoming cars and the parked cars. Question 9, you may make a left turn on a red light from A. A, one-way street onto a two-way street. B, one-way street onto a one-way street. C. Two-way street onto a one-way street. The correct answer is, B. One-way street onto a one-way street. You may turn left against a red light when you are turning from a one-way street onto a one-way street. Make sure there is no sign prohibiting the turn. 
yield to other vehicles, pedestrians, or bicyclists who have a green light. Look both ways and turn when it is safe. Question, 10, yellow line separate. A. Traffic lanes on one-way streets. B. Traffic moving in opposite directions on a two-way road. C. All carpool lanes from regular traffic lanes. The correct answer is B. Traffic moving in opposite directions on a two-way road. Yellow lines mark the center of a road used for two-way traffic. A solid yellow center line indicates that drivers may not cross the line to pass. A broken yellow center line indicates that drivers may cross the line to pass, but only if passing would not interfere with traffic. Question 11 This sign means don't pass. A. Until after you pass the sign. B. Unless it seems safe to do so. C. Other vehicles for any reason. The correct answer is C. Other vehicles for any reason. A white rectangular sign indicates that you must obey the stated rule. This sign means that drivers should not pass other vehicles for any reason. If you like our content and it is helping you, then please subscribe to our channel to encourage us. Question 12. It is illegal for a person 21 years of age or older to drive with a blood alcohol concentration, BAC, that is, or higher. A. 0.08% 8 hundredths of 1%. B. 0.1% 1 tenth of 1%. C. 0.05% 5 hundredths of 1%. The correct answer is A. 0.08% 8 hundredths of 1%. It is illegal for you to drive if you have a BAC of 0.08% or higher if you are over 21 years old. Question 13. A pedestrian starts to cross the street after the don't walk signal begins to flash. The person is in the middle of the street when your signal light changes to green. You should A. Cautiously proceed around the pedestrian. B. Proceed if the person is not in your lane. C. Wait until the person crosses the street before proceeding. The correct answer is C. Wait until the person crosses the street before proceeding. At a green light, you must give the right of way to any vehicle, bicyclist, or pedestrian in the intersection. If a pedestrian begins crossing the street after the traffic signal light starts flashing, wait until they have crossed the street before proceeding. Question. 14. It is illegal to leave children age 6 or younger unattended in a car on a hot day. A. Even if they are secured in a child passenger restraint system. B. If they are supervised by a person 12 years of age or older. C. Only if the key is in the ignition. The correct answer is A. Even if they are secured in a child passenger restraint system. It is never a good idea to leave a child unattended in a car. It is illegal to leave a child age 6 or younger unattended in a vehicle. A child may be left under the supervision of a person age 12 or older. Question 15. When a school bus with its red lights flashing is stopped ahead on your side of the road, you must A. Stop until all the children have left the bus. B. Stop until the lights stop flashing. C. Change lanes, drive slowly, and pass cautiously. The correct answer is, B, stop until the lights stop flashing. The flashing overhead lights and stop arm on a school bus will be activated when the bus is stopped to load or unload students. If approaching a bus using these signals, you may not proceed until the red lights have stopped flashing and the stop arm has been retracted. Never pass a school bus that is dropping off or picking up students. Question 16. Drivers of large trucks often travel with a lot of space in front of their vehicle. This extra space is needed for a. Other drivers to use when merging onto an off-ramp. b. The truck driver to use for stopping the vehicle. c. Other drivers to use when they want to slow down. The correct answer is b. The truck driver to use for stopping the vehicle. Question 17. Flash your brake lights or turn on your emergency flashers if you a. Need to warn other drivers of an accident ahead. b. Are temporarily parked in a traffic lane to make a delivery. c. Are backing out of a parking space. The correct answer is a. Need to warn other drivers of an accident ahead.
If you can see a collision ahead, warn the drivers behind you by turning on your emergency flashers or by tapping your brake pedal quickly three or four times. Question, 18, you are driving on a freeway posted for 65 miles per hour. Traffic is heavy and moving at 35 miles per hour. The best speed for your vehicle is most likely a 25 miles per hour. B. 35 miles per hour. C. 40 miles per hour. The correct answer is B. 35 miles per hour. Collisions are more likely to happen when one driver travels more quickly or more slowly than the other vehicles on the road. You should enter a freeway at or near the speed of traffic, unless the speed of traffic exceeds the legal speed limit. Question, 19, which of these statements is true about drinking alcohol and driving? A. If you can walk in a straight line after drinking, it is safe to drive. B. If you are under the legal blood alcohol concentration limit, your driving isn't impaired. C. Alcohol affects judgment and self-control, which are needed for driving safely. The correct answer is, C. Alcohol affects judgment and self-control, which are needed for driving safely. Being under the influence of alcohol affects your judgment. Good judgment is necessary to react appropriately to things that you see or hear while on the road. Even if you are below the legal blood alcohol limit, consuming any amount of alcohol is likely to affect your ability to drive safely. Question, 20, on a freeway, you should look further ahead than you would on a city street. A. In order to see potential hazards early. B. Because it takes a quarter mile to stop your vehicle completely. C. Because it helps you keep up with traffic. The correct answer is A. In order to see potential hazards early. Question 21. After passing a car, it is safe to return to your driving lane when A. The driver you just passed signals you to return to your lane. B. You signal for three seconds your intention to return to your lane. C. You see the headlights of the past car in your rearview mirror. The correct answer is, C. You see the headlights of the past car in your rearview mirror. Question, 22, a red arrow pointing to the right on a traffic light means you may A. Turn in that direction after slowing and checking traffic. B. Not turn in that direction until the light turns green. C. Turn in that direction after you come to a complete stop. The correct answer is, B, not turn in that direction until the light turns green. Question, 23, a safety zone is a specially marked area for passengers to get on or off buses or trolleys. You may not drive through a safety zone. A, only when a bus or trolley is present. B, only when a bus or trolley is unloading passengers. C, at any time or for any reason. The correct answer is, C, at any time or for any reason. You may never drive through a safety zone. This space is set aside for pedestrians. Question, 24, an orange and red sign of this shape always means. A vehicle has the right of way. B, slow moving vehicle. C, construction zone. The correct answer is, B, slow moving vehicle. Slow-moving vehicles, such as farm tractors, road maintenance vehicles, and animal-drawn carts, display an orange and red triangle on the back. Question, 25, when should you yield your legal right-of-way? A. Often, even at controlled intersections. B. When it helps prevent accidents. C. Never, it confuses other drivers. The correct answer is, B. When it helps prevent accidents. If you have watched our video till the end, thank you very much for it. Encourage us to make similar videos in future also by clicking the subscribe button of the channel.